I was wondering if you could work on a patch separately. Apparently not. Oh, you and you may as well do some research. I was like, where's my research gone? Oh yeah, I moved it. And then you guys can just start smashing out some folk, um, topics. Done. Release. So we need a publisher, somebody who can do Rupugs. He's good with Rupugs. Market strength. Wow, Pony. Not going to give me a very good share, but their market strength is phenomenal. Go with Sony. I mean, Pony. Come on. Beat Go Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! We beat Goat Simulator, finally. I mean, it was the last game we made, but still. We're clearly improving. The graphics look really good. There isn't much to complain about. The sound is the best I've ever heard. This is the new standard in sound. The controls define perfection. The gameplay is well done. There's not much to complain about. Good game with some flaws just short of gold. We got 80%. Cost me two million to make. But I have a feeling we're going to recoup that. Now, you lot need to do a contract, I think. Pass a little bit of time. Go ahead and finish that. You can research. You guys can do game report. For Divinity Original Mod 2. And you lot can do an update. Maybe gameplay, gameplay, and sound. More marketing, that's good. Cool. Let's do an expensive marketing campaign. Let's do radio. already made a profit four weeks in. That's true. Maybe marketing. do I want to work on? He's not particularly well trained yet. My game designers obviously are. In fact, these two should join the A-team. My programmers... Actually, the programmers could do it a bit. And actually, some of the all-rounders could too.
just because that's going to be super tight. Uh, maybe it's not. <laughs> hey, Linus. Let's do another update. We've only done the one. Let's get a little bit more game control. These updates so freaking fast. 3.6 million profit. Do that as the last round of automation. I mean, the thing I would like is if a um, game expo rolled around now. Although we are now sitting here with 10 million in the bank, so we need to kind of think about where we want to go next. I mean, probably we can upgrade our base. Large office building would be a pretty big upgrade. Another 200 square feet. And even the gigantic office building would be four times the size of this. Do the first AA game. The problem with the AA games is I'm not convinced we've got enough features to make it worthwhile because we're struggling to fill 15, let alone 20. We really need more features to become available. We could do an MMO, that's true. Oh yeah, what did you guys think about Divinity Original, Original Mod 2? Atmosphere and Core Gamer we nailed. Game Death isn't here, here, or here. It's actually further back that way. The story is not Max, it's an RPG. Graphics. I'm sure graphics is like here, actually. Let's let you finish off your training. In fact, what I could do is set you to train them faster. And there it is. All right. That's everyone. So, first thing we're going to need is a server room. And I think that's basically going to live right here. We'll go with that. Quarter million. Okay, server rooms don't actually need to be as big as I thought they did. Can add more as we go on, hopefully, probably. So, we're developing a game. This is going to be an AA. 
target audience is going to be adult. Topic. Vikings. RPG. How did we get... Oh, it's in here, isn't it? MMO. In the Metnheim engine. Fantasy. Subgenre. What would work with this? Strategy? Fighting? Real time strategy? Skill? Building? Economics, this is going to be such a big flop. <laughs> adventure, possibly, but I feel like adventure is like Day of the Tentacle. Yeah, it's solving logical puzzles. That's that's like Day of the Tentacle or um, Sam and Max Hit the Road or Monkey Island, classic adventure. I feel like this has got to be a Viking RPG fantasy economic sim. You can do act. Well, no, it's not action, but you can do fighting. That's why I was reading the text. Good graphics and heavy violence are the main elements of this genre. The genre isn't strategic, but fast reactions are required. Or we could do like third person. Action plus tricky jumping and climbing sections are the core elements of this game. That sounds a bit more like it. Any licenses available for this? Soldiers of the Caribbean. Bloody true. Beowulf. Not really Vikings. It's Anglo-Saxons. Same, same kind of era, though. Bug Bully. Austin Flowers. No. Right, what are we calling this? Need a name. This thing's gonna cost 12 million to build. I'm gonna have to go into really heavy debt to pay for this. Well, not really heavy, I've already got almost 11 million in the bank, but still. Beowulf is about a Swedish king coming to save a Danish king, that's true. World of Mordecraft is the obvious one. I'm trying to think what other uh, MMOs I've played. I've played EVE Online, Shadowbane, Ultima Online, uh, Guild Wars 1 and 2. Mord Wars? I've never actually played Dark Ages of Camelot. I mean, the hilarious thing is, we could do a World of Mordcraft without actually having made a Mordcraft. We haven't done any RTSs. Mord Scrolls Online. Got to be more time, really. Heim is extremely Norse and Maud. More time, it is. Personal computer. We are going to get some amazing copy protection, which is also 
amazingly expensive. And game reports. This is an RPG. And we can use Divinity Original Mod 2 as the basis. So where did we go right and where did we go wrong? Atmosphere and core game were good. Game depth was not. Game depth was at the end. Game depth was at the end. Okay, so I've never moved game depth, which seems a little bit silly. Oh no, we have. So that was two from the end. That was at the end. That was at the end. That was at the end. So what you're telling me is that game depth should be here. <laughs> That's what I'm reading into this. And then story is not at the end. Stories at the end, at the end, the other end for reasons, and then at the end. So we should not have as much story as we have right now. Let's try here. And then gameplay is the last one. One from the end, two from the end, two from the end, three from the end. So I think actually for this one we need to go two, three, four. <laughs> In before sued by Gamescraft works. We have been getting fan letters. More beginner friendly. Well done. More features. More languages. Well, we're doing all the languages. More lengthy. Yeah. More lengthy. Do we ever hit a game depth? No. I'm actually going to do this. All languages. Disable everything. 16 bit. Pre rendered graphics and cutscenes. CD quality, 16 bit recorded, surreal 3D audio. Sprites. Save game in an MMO? Internet multiplayer, obviously. Shader support, texture based renderer, isometric, mouse driver, branching AI, parallax scrolling. Save game support. You can save your inventories and stuff. Got parallax scrolling already. See, so yeah, I think that's everything. It's going to cost me 11.8 million, so we will need to take out a uh, couple of hundred grand. Let's go up to like 12 mil. So we're borrowing 1.5 mil. 3D VR? Alright. Split screen on an MMO? No, I don't think so. Subscription price? Six... Four? Five? Six. Six. I think we can always change that. I haven't updated my engine because I don't think there's anything to update it to. I'm pretty sure... Okay, video cutscenes. Yeah, that's 
Don't let your force feedback in structural environments. So there are three things we're missing. But generally, we're doing okay. Okay, so, first things first. Dream Team. Molly New is going to be in the main room. You're going to be game design. Main room. Game design. Main room. And you guys are improving the gameplay in all four of those. No, I'm just going to borrow a million. Oh, to actually be able to just, just give me a million. It's fine. I'll pay you back. Pay you back tomorrow, Gov. Roof sounds. Proof the graphics. Proof the animations. Okay, so next up we need our programmers. So away Kent is going to be in here, you're going to be in here. And then our artists. Sixty-four, sixty-eight, six forty-five. So you're in there, you're in there, you're going to be in there. And then this is music. I deselected you, you're both going to be working there. Then we've got the office crew. On there. good programmer. So are you. You're a bit lower than the others. You're good. Alright, so you four are going in here. And you are going in here. These guys are going to support the development of you. And you are going to coordinate that. And... You are going to start a games fair. Go. I wonder if there's any other all rounders available. Dario. Not really. Pancras. Pascal. Oh, Pascal is. Yeah, Pascal's definitely an all-rounder. Who oh, hire you? We'll also give you a name. Do 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 do. Where is he? There he is. So, Pascal Diaz, henceforth known as Urban Geographer. Urban Geographer. Congratulations to the team. Now get back to work! Forgot to check to see how good he was at working, but never mind. Second QA for perma bug fixing. 
we can rejigger for. We can jig around with that. I mean, we could even have Mordred focusing the bug fix room when it when it's time. Really want to learn game time, but I have no idea where to start modding. Join a modding team. Just make stuff. Games convention. I think we're still selling both games, right? I think. 1.75 million required. Four million in debt. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Twenty-five thousand more fans. Boom. debt again. Take out another 250,000. You know things are bad when the 250,000 button is not big enough and you have to keep pressing it. Alright, any rooms finished yet? Marketing is... Damn it! 96,000 a month in interest. 100,000 a month in interest. Oh, bloody hell, that alone could sink us. Oh, wow, that was badly timed. That needs to go away quickly. Taking debts just to cover my debt. This is not a good thing. This is like a death spiral. I mean, I can do contracts and I can, like, pay some of that off pretty fast, but look at the rate that I'm taking out 250s. We're already at 5 million. So, who's good at programming game design here? You are. Who's the other one? Oh, congratulations. Oh no, there were only three of you. Whoops, not you. You. Then you are going to remove bugs. More time. Go. Wait, someone just made red alert. Divinity Original Mord is the second best game ever made. Red alert. 